I'm Paw Daddy from Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Now that fall is finally here, we can turn our attention to all things pumpkin spice. So when it comes to pumpkin spice treats, I'm sure the first thing that pops into your mind is acorn squash. Well, maybe you're not thinking about acorn squash, but you will. Acorn squash is a vegetable. It's dessert. So today we're all about turning this vegetable into a delicious pumpkin spice treat. I'm starting with two freshly washed acorn squash and look at the nice fall colors. Acorn squash seems to have a lot of the same characteristics as pumpkins. Now that you got it washed and dried, start by trimming off one end with a knife to create a flat spot. I'm cutting on the end that has the stem, and you'll find out in a hurry just how hard an acorn squash really is. It takes quite a bit of power to slice through it. Now stand it up on that flat spot. Doing it this way is actually a little safety measure because it gives us some stability to make the next cut and that is to cut it in half. And yes, it's very, very hard, but we got through it. Now you can see just how much it really resembles a pumpkin. Use a spoon to scoop out the seeds and maybe a little bit of that front line stringy stuff. And we're gonna use our knife to score the inside of the squash. Now, I found that it may work a lot better to start and make your cuts halfway through and then flip it around and make the other half. Another option would be to do this with a much smaller blade, like a paring knife. Get her done. Now we want to coat the inside with an oil such as canola oil or maybe even use some butter. So I'm using parquet, but anyway, you need to use a brush and that'll help to spread it around and just coat the inside of that acre squash. Now it's time for the good part. Break out that pumpkin spice and be generous. I like to follow that up with some fresh nutmeg grated using my microplane. Of course, it needs a little sprinkle of salt and then follow that up with a generous amount of brown sugar. Now, as you can see, I'm actually using turbinado sugar. It's a lot easier to work with. It has similar results to brown sugar. For the final ingredient, we're gonna add some nuts. Now, I'm using toasted walnuts, but pecans would also be an excellent choice. Get out your baking sheet, line it with a piece of parchment paper. Preheat your oven to the desired temperature with the range being between 300 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Today I'm using my Cook Shack electric smoker and that's without any smoke of course. And it has a maximum temperature of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you want to cook these until they turn very, very soft. Guys, if given the choice, then I would have used 400 degrees Fahrenheit and start checking the softness after about the first 30 minutes or so. Of course, the size of your acorn squash and your cooking setup, that'll all help determine the cook time. And once that squash is softened up and it's cooled just a bit, then they're ready to serve and they are delicious. I can tell you wish you were here, don't you? It's so good. Now you know, acorn squash is what's for dessert. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>